So we know codependency is a silent thief. It is stealing away our individuality. It's stealing our joy. It's stealing our peace. It's stealing those things that make us who we are. And if you watched our, or read our blog on our website this week, I compared codependency to doing a dance. So it's a dance where one person's needs overshadow our own needs. It overshadows our, our wants and our desires, and it's creating an unhealthy and unbalanced be um, between friends. It can be between parents and child. It can be, be between spouse. It could be between boyfriends and girlfriends. Um, it could be between coworkers. I mean, you could literally work with someone that you become codependent um, with that person. We also discussed that it was not a mental issue. It is a behavior issue that once we've discussed it over and over is that we teach people how to treat us. And by what we teach people, we teach them that we're okay with that behavior. I received a lot of, a lot of feedback from the show. So I kind of wanted to talk about today of how do we change our behavior and change our patterns and how do we um, stop it from still when we develop unhappy, unhealthy relationships in those dynamics, that's something that we can always change. So if you feel or have ever felt like you are living your life for someone else or you're sacrificing your ha happiness for their happiness, you, I promise, are not alone. Remember, I walked this avenue myself. That's how I'm able to actually us to discuss it together as a group. Many of us have did the waltz or the tangle through code dependency. It is not a flaw. It is a learned behavior. Remember, we've learned that behave, behavior through um, trauma, through family drama, through um, misfortunes that may have happened to us in our childhood. And so breaking free starts with recognizing the patterns that bind us up that we've learned. And some of those patterns could be are you saying yes when you really, really want to say no? And are you staying in an activity or staying in a place or staying at um, an event when you really want to leave that event or you want to go home? Are you doing when you really just want to stop? Sometimes we do things that we really just don't want to do them. Or do you find your happy is defined with others happy? Sometimes when we have nothing that we're individual or that we have our likes, our happiness and our joy and our togetherness feeling is going to be based upon the other person that we're connected to. If they're happy, we're happy. If they're sad, we're sad. If they're angry, we're angry. Instead of, instead of being absorbing their emotions and absorbing their behaviors, we need to learn to be deflectors. 